Hi guys, welcome back to the Healthy Cooking and Beauty channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make Tyrone Studio Cassava Dumpling. I use cassava, I got this at my Caribbean store. And then I take the cassava, okay, and I peel it. Okay, and I'm grating the cassava. Okay, this is a video showing you how to make Tyrone Studio Cassava Dumpling okay and I'll leave his link down below as well it's a Jamaican youtuber that show us, show, showed me how to make dumpling with cassava like cassava dumpling with using this alone so I'm gonna pe I peel this as I showed you guys before so how it looks you peel and you rinse it and you start grater it with a grater Okay, and once it's great, I wish you what else needs to be done. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and tell a friend to tell a friend about the healthy cooking and beauty channels. Okay, that I show you guys how to make you make natural home healthy recipes from home. So guys, as I mentioned to you, so you have to grate the cassava. Once it's greater, you have to um, squeeze out the water in the cassava. Okay, I wish you how that that's done. So you have to squeeze the water out of the cassava before you add your flour. Basically, just hold it in your hands like this, or you could use a cloth, a cheesecloth to squeeze it out. I'm going to use it like show for the sake of the video. Okay, just squeeze out the water. But you can also keep the water in for, for the moist of the dumplings. So this is a video showing you how to do Tyrone Studio cassava dumpling from scratch. With fresh cassava and as I mentioned to you it's um, I got the cassava at my grocery store or health food store or Caribbean store so once you squeeze out the cassava once you create the cassava you squeeze out the water and then you have this okay then now you have to add flour to your cassava to start the process so give me a moment to add the flowers for you guys and show you guys how it's done So this is how it's done. You add the flour to the cassava and just mix it with your hands. The flour, I use one cup of flour and one cup of cassava. Okay. And just mix it with your hands, the cassava and the flour in together. Okay, once you mix it nicely and thoroughly, you can also add some salt to salt. Okay, and I'm using sea salt. Once that is added, just continue mixing with your hands to blend in the flour and the cassava together. Okay, so once the, uh, you feel like you have blending the flour and the cassava together, then you could add some water to get it into form into the dumpling. So I'm putting like a teaspoon, tablespoon of um, water into my flour mix and cassava mixture. And just use my hand to fold in it together. Like that. And if you need to like, like right now you can tell you need some more water. Just continue pouring some more water in it. Not a lot of water, like a tablespoon. Right, like that keep mixing and just fold it in the flour the water and the cassava together the purpose of this video is just to do um we're trying to make it into a dough dough form okay so once again guys if you like videos like this don't forget to tell your friend about the healthy cooking and beauty channel and like and share and subscribe okay guys and thank you guys so much for sharing and tell a friend about my healthy cooking and beauty channel and also I will leave a video below how to make um I have a video also how sh I'm gonna make a video showing you guys how to make cassava flour out of cassava it's more natural much more organic 
and it's better than the regular flour. And also I will leave another video above how to make pancakes with these as well, cassava as well. So, so, so far guys, I'm just mixing everything together. See, I'm just pushing my, my hands, pushing it together. I'm trying to make it into a ball. So now this is all done. You can put it in the fridge for like a 15 minutes to make it more nicely. I'm about to form into the dumpling. So that's all done, as like I said. I'm not going to put it in the fridge it's gonna, for the sake of the video, okay? So I'm going to show you how it's done with the dumpling now. So guys, once you put the dough in the, floor, in the fridge for 15 minutes, then you take it out and you, um, break it into pieces, like pieces. And once you break it into pieces, you roll it into both hands, roll it into both hands like a ball, and press down and have this form, okay? Okay, so give me finish the rest. Okay guys, so this is how it all turned out. So once again, you put in the fridge dough for 50 minutes to chill. Once it's chill, you take it out of the fridge, you roll it, uh, take a piece in um, pieces, and then you take it and roll it into a ball and flatten it out with your hands. And this is how it looks. So once it is done, we're gonna put it in the pot. Put it in the pot with some, you put a stove, put a pot on the stove with some water boiling water okay so the boiling water is on it's boiling right now add a pinch of salt into the water and I'm gonna add some olive oil as well teaspoon of olive oil and then you just place the dumpling in the pot And this can be served with your favorite stew, chicken, and much, much more. So let this cook for, I would say, 30 minutes. Okay, once it's cooked for 30 minutes, you can serve it, as I mentioned, with your favorite stew, chicken, and beef, according to your choice of uh, meat. Or you can eat it by itself with some nice butter. Okay, so this is a, ch um, this is a video showing you how to make Tyrone Studio cassava dumpling and don't forget to like this video and share and subscribe and tell your friend about the healthy cooking and beauty channel okay guys so stay tuned for the result so guys this is how it looks so far after, 50, after 10 minutes cooking so far that's what it looks so far cooking after 10 minutes so 20 more minutes to go and this will be nicely this will be nicely cooked and it tastes delicious it's cassava dumpling i got this item from tyrone studio i will leave his link in my description below you can also check out his channels channel as well and so far so good guys looking very good looking very good cassava dumpling from scratch i got the idea from tyrone studio video on youtube and i will leave his link below and also we'll leave a link down below how to make um, pancake with cassava as well. And also, I'm going to leave a link how to make cassava flour as well with the cassava I showed you guys before. Okay, it's all organic and it's better than the natural flour. So far, so good guys. Look how, look how nice it looks. Delicious. So this is the cassava once again guys to remind you of what it looks like get this at your local grocery store or any caribbean store or any chinese store okay cassava dumpling looking delicious yum yum you can serve this with any sauce or chicken beef stew and much much more and if you're from the caribbean you can serve with curry goat curry chicken and much more 
so far so good guys delicious and I'm gonna show you guys how to make flour from this as well and I also make pancake as well from this cassava raw cassava it's all organic so guys this is how it looks when it's all done so this is the cassava dumpling I got this idea from Tyrone studio okay so if you like this video don't forget to like subscribe and share to your friend and tell a friend about the healthy cooking and beauty channel so once again guys go over and watch Tyrone studio video I will leave his link below and if you want to see how to make um, pancakes out of the cassava um, I will leave the link also above click on the link above you see the link as well and thanks again for watching my channel and enjoy and let me know if you have tried this recipe and how do you feel about it and does it taste good to your liking so once again thanks for watching healthy cooking and beauty channel and don't forget to like guys and subscribe bye enjoy